Bow to Yu-Gi-Oh! Visual Aid Master Rule The Master Rules are a series of card rules that were applied in the OCG since the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Bs. The Master Rules are a modified version of the new Expert Rules which basically consists on altering the rules along with some well-known dueling terms in the TCG. Rule changes don't have formal names like they do in the OCG. With that explanation out of the way, I'll be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! history, as this comes into play when it comes to learning about Master Rules. Yu-Gi-Oh! started in 1996. The first Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zero as it's named, that started in this time in Japan was not a global event, as such, the card game didn't really start getting fought until the second Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, called Yu-Gi-Oh! started in 2000 until 2004. So let's talk about Master Rule 1. I'll introduce the Master Rules in this way, so that you can see the progression and changes they have made to Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole. Master Rule 1. The length of how long it starts and ends is from 2000 up until 2004. Most rules tend to last the length of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. There is no extra deck limit at this point for Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck size limit is 40 to 80 cards. Monster types, Psychic, Worm and Cybers don't exist at this time. 20 monster types exist at this time. Ok, time to showcase a Master Rule 1 playmat. Before that, let's create a key so you know what's what. Key 1. Deck Zone, where the deck is placed. 2. Spell and Trap Card Zone, where spells and traps are placed and activated. 3. Extra Deck Zone, where extra deck monsters are placed before summoning them. 4. Field Card Zone, where your field spell is placed. 5. Monster Card Zone, where your monsters are placed. 6. Graveyard, where cards are placed after being used or destroyed. Master Rule 2 starts with the next Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, from 2004 up until 2008. Several changes took place. Like before, no extra deck limit. Fusion support was introduced during this time. Type Searcher was introduced, called Reinforcement of the Army. August 2004 introduced the ban list into the game. Like before, there are still only 20 monster types. Our first official hand trap was introduced at this time called DDD Crow. However, it will not be used in tournament play. At the start of 2004, OCG cards were now banned from the TCG related tournaments. This is when the divide from the TCG to OCG began. The playmat remained the same. I shall showcase the playmat again. Remember to check the key guide mentioned earlier for help in understanding it if you have any issues. Key 1. Deck Zone, where the deck is placed. 2. Spell and Trap Card Zone, where spells and traps are placed and activated. 3. Extra Deck Zone, where extra deck monsters are placed before summoning them. 4. Field Card Zone, where your field spell is placed. 5. Monster Card Zone, where your monsters are placed. 6. Graveyard, where cards are placed after being used or destroyed. Master Rule 2 still continues, not given an increase in number, so to make it easy to understand, I will call it Master Rule 2.5. Starting with the next anime, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D. Series length is 2008 up until 2011. Several big changes take place. Introduced limitation on the number of cards allowed in the deck. Main deck 40 to 60 cards. Extra deck 0 to 15 cards. Side deck 0 to 15 cards. Psychic type is introduced, getting the monster type count to 21. Introduction to a new extra deck monster called Synchro. Removal of priority. What do I mean by this? Well, before this rule update, monsters that have effects and their summons were negated. 
the monster effects would still go through despite the summons being negated. However, with the removal of priority monster summons that are negated now, their effects will not go through. This new ruling played a huge role in making Yu-Gi-Oh! one of the contributing factors making Yu-Gi-Oh! the fastest paced card game in the world. Introduction of the Dinosaur Type Searcher Fossil Dig is released. Introduction Terminology Changes Sacrifice Summon equals Tribute Summon or Advanced Summon Sacrifice Changes to Release Fusion Deck Changes to Extra Deck Another thing introduced were more hand traps. There would be one hand trap introduced during this period that would change the game and give Yu-Gi-Oh! its title as the fastest and hardest card game in the world. It is called Maxi. This card changed the game in a fundamental way. Before this, Yu-Gi-Oh! was like every other card game. After this, it got magnified in difficulty and speed. The main reason is this card introduced a concept of punishing creating advantage by giving more advantage to the opposing player. They simply got infinite advantage as long as the opponent kept creating more advantage. A never ending cycle. The playmat remained the same. Let's showcase the playmat once again. No changes here. The next series starts called Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal, still remaining in most Beast Warrior type searcher called Fire Formation Tanky. The series length is from 2011 to 2015. Not a lot of changes take place here. Introduction of a new extra deck monster called XYZ. Removed the ignition effect priority. Introduced terminology changes. Release changes to tribute. Advanced Summon changes to Tribute Summon. Reptile Type Searcher called King of the Feral Imps. Beast Warrior Type Searcher called Fire Formation Tanky. What is Ignition Effect Priority? The Ignition Effect of a monster can be activated during the Summon Response Window. What is Summon Response Window? The Summon Response Window is an official term for activation timing of cards that respond to the summon of a monster or monsters, such as trap hole cards, torrential tribute, etc. Now without our way, let me fully explain ignition effect priority. Also bear in mind that now it no longer applies. Let me give you an example of ignition effect priority. Player A has a face-up DDD warrior and a bottomless trap hole that has been set for at least one turn. It is currently Player B's turn. Player B special summons Chaos Sorcerer with its summoning procedure. Player B, the turn player, has priority, so they can activate the ignition effect of Chaos Sorcerer. Player B does so targeting DDD Warrior Link. The effect of Chaos Sorcerer is now Chain Link 1. Player A then activates Bottomless Trap Hole, since the special summon of Chaos Sorcerer was the most recent action to have occurred, bottomless trap hole now is chain link 2. The chain now resolves in reverse order. Chain link 2, bottomless trap hole resolves. Kill sorcerer is destroyed and vanished. Chain link 1, the effect of kill sorcerer resolves. DDD warrior lady is now banished. Ok, let's showcase what I just said visually to help you understand. Player A has a face up DDD warrior lady and a bottomless trap hole that has been set for at least one turn. It is currently Player B's turn. Player B, the turn player, has priority, so they can activate the ignition effect of Kale Sorcerer. Player B does so, targeting DDD Warrior Lady. The effect of Kale Sorcerer is now changing one. Player A then activates bottomless trap hole, since the special summon of Chaos Sorcerer was the most recent action to have occurred. Bottomless Trap Hole is now Chain Link 2. Chain Link 2. Bottomless Trap Hole resolved. Chaos Sorcerer is destroyed and banished. As the TCG and OCG priority rules currently stand, now since the removal of this, Player B would not have been able to activate the ignition effect of Chaos Sorcerer as Chain Link 1 immediately. 
after summoning the monster due to the rules of the summon response window restricting player B. Action! Player A would be able to activate Bottomless Trap Hole as Chainlink 1, vanishing Kill Sorcerer before its effect could be activated. Sounds easy enough. And now here is the playmat for this monster rule. No real changes. Key 1. Deck Zone, where the deck is placed. 2. Spell and Trap Card Zone, where spells and traps are placed and activated. 3. Extra Deck Zone, where Extra Deck Monsters are placed before summoning them. 4. Field Card Zone, where your Field Spell is placed. 5. Monster Card Zone, where your Monsters are placed. 6. Graveyard, where cards are placed after being used or destroyed. Master Rule 3 With a new Master Rule is a new series called Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc B. Series length is from 2014 to 2017. We get some big changes here. When you go first, you do not draw a card. Both players can control field spells before only one field spell could be active. A new playmat. Introduction to a new monster type called Worms. This increased the monster type count to 22. A new summon mechanic called Pendulums. Worm type searcher called Waterfall Dragon is, of Souls is released. Simplified the damage step into 5 timings. A. Start of the damage step. B. Before damage calculation. C. During damage calculation. D. After damage calculation. E. End of the damage step. Introduced terminology changes. Monster card zone equals monster zone. Spell and trap card zone equals spell and trap zone. Field card zone equals field zone. With a new playmat, we need to introduce a new keys. Here I go. 1. Deck zone, where the deck is placed. 2. Spell and trap zone, where spells and traps are placed and activated. 3. Extra deck zone where extra deck monsters are placed before summoning them. 4. Field Zone, where your field spell is placed. 5. Monster Zone, where your monsters are placed. 6. Graveyard, where cards are placed after being used or destroyed. 7. Pendulum Zone, where pendulum monsters are placed to perform a pendulum summon. Master Rule 4. With a new Master Rule comes a new series, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rings series. Length 2017 up until 2019. Some more changes happen. A new extra deck monster called Link is introduced. A new toy mat. A new type introduced called Cybers. Increasing monster type count to 23. Extra deck monsters go into the extra monster zone. Proper ritual support is introduced. Two new monster zones, the extra monster zones, were introduced, located in the second and fourth columns between the two sides of the field, and are exclusively used for the summoning of monsters on the extra deck. While an extra monster zone is unoccupied, it does not belong to either player's field. Monster special summon from the extra deck must be summoned to either an extra monster zone or a main monster zone. A link monster points to. The pendulum monsters were moved into the spell and trap zones. The existing monster zones were classified as main monster zones. Rock type searcher introduced called Gallant Granite. Thunder type searcher introduced called Thunder Dragon Fusion. Cybers type searcher introduced called Silent Backdoor. With a new play mat, we need to introduce new keys. Here I go. 1. Deck zone where the deck is placed. 2. Spell and Trap Zone, where spells and traps are placed and activated. 3. Extra Deck Zone, where Extra Deck monsters are placed before summoning them. 4. Field Zone, where your field spell is placed. 5. Main Monster Zone, where your monsters are placed. 
6. Graveyard, where cards are placed after being used or destroyed. 7. Pendulum Zone, where pendulum mountains are placed to perform a pendulum summit. 8. Extra Monster Zone, where extra deck monsters are placed. Master Rule 2020 is the new Master Rule. This new Master Rule officially starts on April 1st, 2020. The Yu-Gi-Oh! anime starting does not influence the game. This is the first time this has happened in Yu-Gi-Oh! Series premieres April 4th, 2020. End date unknown at this point. There are some changes. These rules will take place starting from April 1st, 2020. Fusion Synchro and XYZ monsters may be special summoned from the extra deck directly to the main monster zone. They may also be summoned to extra monster zone at the player's decision. This rule does not apply to Link and Pendulum monsters, however they still have to follow the old rule. Hybrid Pendulums are affected by this rule. Hybrid Pendulums are Synchro Pendulums, XYZ Pendulums and fusion pendulums. The playmat doesn't really change that much. Let's go get to that, shall we? You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.